Assalamu alaikum everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Ramadan Mubarak. Uh, my name is Chimmy Q and welcome to my YouTube channel. Listen guys, I had to hit you with a Zeki, okay? I was being bullied, but that's the best audio, okay? I absolutely love that song. Jumping right into my Ramadan routine, guys. I am starting my days. Hopefully, I try to every morning, 4.30. And I'm trying to be very productive in this. So as soon as I wake up, I try to do my Quran for a little bit. And then right after that, I try going into a lot of dua and of course qiyam al-layl now before any of that of course even starts i have to make wudu and guys it kills me to make wudu in the morning the water is so cold but listen you gotta do what you gotta do right are we gonna get this blessing or are we gonna get this blessing okay so every single night or not night every single morning i do read a lot of quran alhamdulillah i'm going on time or i am on time with my quran review i've been doing a juz every single day and it's been going good alhamdulillah i spread it out throughout the day so it's not like i'll read the entire thing after fajr maybe i'll read five to you know seven pages and then throughout the day i will just read a little bit of everything there are a lot of benefits, you know, a lot of barakah that just comes with reading Quran at Fajr time. And then when you add the fact that we're in Ramadan, you definitely can't go wrong, guys. So definitely, uh, you know, just doing Quran at this time keeps me more productive. And alhamdulillah, I feel like I'm doing more ibadah. And right after that, I try to do a lot more dhikr. And guys, I drink water for suhoor. I know this is not the best thing. I cannot eat in the morning, but I will probably drink water that's the best I'll do. So like I'll drink a bottle of water. But yeah, right after dhikr as well, I go into praying. Um, I do pray maybe four rakats or sometimes I do eight, just depending on the time that I woke up. But a lot of the time, so I do pray, right? But mainly I find my time goes to making dua. Okay, guys, I'm a dua girl. Y'all know I'm a dua girl. Majority of my time goes to making dua. And I try to get as much dua as I can in before the Fajr Adhan calls. As you guys know, you know, the last third of the night is the best time to make dua. Allah literally asks, you know, which one of his servants are calling out to him to answer for him to answer them. And, you know, it's just an amazing time to make dua. Add the fact that we're in Ramadan, guys, we're going to get what we want. Okay, so I spend a lot of my time making dua and my cat Nura just watches. <laughs> so, of course, dhikr as well is something I'm implementing in my routine, just for ibadah in general. Um, there are a lot of different dhikrs you could do. Specifically, you know, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar 33, 33, 33 34 times. Uh, one other um, dhikr I'm doing now is la ilaha illa ant, subhanak inni kuntu min al or la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la so those are the dhikrs i add just a few of them and right after fajr guys i go to bed because i am exhausted and my schedule did change a little bit considering that you know i am back in school now but waking up in the morning i usually wake up around 8 to 8 not 8 to 8 30 i hop in the shower specifically i am showering in the morning because it's friday however i normally do shower you know after maghrib so yeah guys i have my whole pamper routine as you can see and it is an all black vibe of course it's all black vibe but this is a special abai okay because you know i don't wear this abai every day but right after that i go into my skincare routine of course i've been using the ordinary along with this neutrogena beach defense sunscreen i absolutely love it and do you guys see how much i put on my finger i put that much on my face okay I don't play with my sunscreen and I wear I use this Anastasia Brow Wiz thing. It really keeps your brows in place and it's clear. Along with the lineage or lineage, y'all, I don't even know, uh, lip mask. And I just use that as a chapstick. And yeah, guys, I really like the all black look. It's so funny. Like I'm every single thing about me is just all black. I absolutely love it. Black car, black abaya, black shoes, black socks, black hijab, black everything. But, you know, you got to add a little spice of something. So I am going to be wearing this bracelet. And I think I got that from Shein. So it wasn't too expensive. Also, guys, what I'm really into now is like lace socks. I really love them. So I've been wearing a lot of that as well. And this fragrance specifically, I'm putting it on my wrists and the back of my ears. 
you know i'm pretty sure all our moms told us about that trick but <laughs> that's what i was doing and i'm pairing it with this blue um bag and sunglasses now in Ramadan specifically, I'm just trying to fill up every single part of my day with some form of ibadah, whether it's dhikr, listening to a lecture, doing Quran, doing good deeds in general. You know, it's just a really good idea to fill your entire time with good things. Um, so I am now listening to a dua in the car. I do fluctuate between listening to either dua, listening to a lecture, or probably being in the car silently doing dhikr. So that's what I've been doing. And every single day I go to Starbucks and I have my class there. I have online class. And the amazing thing, guys, is I have these noise canceling headphones and I'm in another world. So, you know, Starbucks is already pretty loud. However, when I put those headphones in, I'm literally listening to whatever it is that I need to be listening to. So right now for example i'm listening to like a whole bunch of lectures on youtube when i'm not in my class and i'll probably just do some work you know get a few things done so yeah i do have class guys i am back in school oh my god y'all i am only like back part-time and i don't even know where i'm going with it honestly like i, I was bored <laughs> i'll be honest y'all i was bored and i was like let me just enroll like in a class and like you know see you know about this student life again but alhamdulillah you know i'm uh, taking just a one class and then I have a lot of things planned oh my god guys I'm gonna be vlogging I have so many things planned in terms of just Ramadan activities in the DMV area so I'm just so excited about that I have a lot of that to be planned but or that I am planning currently so when I'm at Starbucks if I'm not doing my work I'm planning but yeah class does take up a lot of my time so now in total, when I add in my class and just a lot of the other things I'm doing, whether it you know, comes to my business or just other things that are being planned, I'm there for maybe four or five hours every single day. But the time flies by really fast. It honestly feels like, you know, I've been there for such a short amount of time and I'm fasting too. So guys, I don't know. It's like I'm sitting in a coffee shop and I'm fasting. I actually don't really get tempted. But moving on throughout the day, it is Jumra. So I am at a local masjid and I try to go to Jumra every single Friday. More specifically, you know, a lot more people came. You can't see it, of course, but a lot more people came because it was Friday. And as you guys can see, I throw in my Quran just randomly throughout the day, guys, just so I can get that just down. So this right now, I believe this was after Dhuhr. And, you know, I'm just reciting a few more pages. And right after that, too, I take a nap <laughs> and then I get ready to go to the masjid. So it's literally me, my two sisters and my two nieces that go to the masjid with us every single day. And I have a bunch of duas that I'm memorizing as well. So that one specifically for, you know, breaking your fast. So yeah, guys, alhamdulillah. Oh, yeah, guys, look to my miniature dollhouse, guys. Can you believe I'm like let's say 30% done with the house because there's two more floors that aren't complete, but I had to decorate the first floor for Ramadan, guys. But moving on, alhamdulillah, guys, I have a tarawih squad that, you know, I go with the tarawih with every single day. So two of my sisters and then my nieces as well. It's always a party, guys. That's literally five of us. And we always fill up wherever we're going on top of that when we meet our friends as well. Alhamdulillah, guys, definitely when it comes to just being around, uh, you know, other Muslim, other Muslim girls in Ramadan, you know, just that have the same mindset as you, it makes Ramadan a lot more special, you know, but I actually love masjid hopping as well. So in this video, I show like four different masjids that we go to, like just randomly. Alhamdulillah, they're all amazing communities. This was one of them and he has an amazing recitation. I just wanted to share. So in total, you know, throughout Ramadan, we go to maybe around 10 to 12 different masjids in that entire month. And this week specifically, we went to five masjids, but I only got four down. So alhamdulillah, we love just going to different masjids. This masjid specifically, uh, the third masjid that we have down here, it is a beautiful masjid. And guys, it actually was someone's home, okay? So it was someone's home before, and then they transferred the entire home into a masjid. And it's such a personal and it's like, it's such a, you know, tight knit community. Like everybody knows everybody. It's so amazing. 
and I absolutely love going to this masjid. We actually go here like majority of the time because it's closer to home, but then the other ones we try to go to on the weekends. And uh, the fourth one right now is the masjid that I went to for this video. So this one was a bit farther out and alhamdulillah, this was an amazing community. I absolutely loved it and we do plan on going back in a few days as well, inshallah. You know, it's absolutely beautiful to see the entire community come out in Ramadan. Literally so many different ages. And then, you know, you see so many friends and it's so amazing, guys. Ramadan, like the Ramadan vibes, honestly, the way the way it is, alhamdulillah, like I can't, I can't ask for anything else. It's amazing. And then, you know, just breaking your fast with your friends and, you know, going for tarawih prayer afterwards. Like, guys, that is such a vibe, alhamdulillah. I'm just so happy that, you know, I'm able to have that. It makes, you know, tarawih and, you know, just Ramadan in general, it makes it a lot more enjoyable. So we're at the masjid and it said no guns allowed. Oh yeah. So I'm wondering, did the guns used to be here? That's so funny. Do you know what she said, bro? What? Across the street, this guy was running. He was running. He knows what the window knows. Guys, my sister and my niece, they're crazy. But guys, is it really Ramadan if you're not making those random stops to McDonald's or Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts? Listen, okay? We literally did that and we, we've we actually been doing that almost every single day. And alhamdulillah, we made it back just in time to grab our first row in the front uh, for Tarawih prayer. And yeah, guys, there are a few gaps, you know. It was kind of weird. We like people were leaving and then coming back, but yeah, alhamdulillah, guys, it was amazing as well. ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد I absolutely enjoy listening to all of the different reciters and you know all of the areas it's amazing but you know after that we come home and I am trying guys I was supposed to finish this book a long time ago but here we are I'm still trying to read it another thing I've incorporated as well is I'm actually taking way more steps to learn how to understand or just understanding the Quran in general so I did tell you guys before I was using a website called Quran.com it really helped me but I did find this YouTube series of a man going through step by step how he understood the Quran and it's super helpful guys okay I think I could translate this y'all you know how crazy I'm gonna go if I get this right say this this is the one who um, Aladhi is those who, okay, had that, this, these are those who, say these are those who had provisions from before. He doesn't say it, so you know what, I'm gonna go and confirm. Okay, so I'm looking up the meaning, uh, and the meaning is, say this is what we were provided with before. I think I was close, I think I was close, y'all, I, I, I honestly think I was close. Qalu, say, hada these. Uh, I think in this, yeah, this, okay, no, this, this is what has uh, been provided from before, but, okay, let's see, I don't know that one, for 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 this, for this, for indeed, for this is a day of, bath. I don't know what bath means, I don't know, that's enough, that's enough trying for today. Guys, let me just say I plan on having an entire video series on just, you know, us hopefully helping each other and learning the Quran and also like learning them like the meaning of it. That's my main thing right now. And I guys, that one video itself, alhamdulillah, I did 
already know a bit before just from putting things together but his videos are super helpful guys Sup genuinely understanding the quran word for word is going to be a game changer when you recite the quran when you memorize the quran because you have like a completely different connection to it you know because you know what you're saying you actually understand what you're saying so i inshallah like that i'm so excited about that and just and you know i can't wait to learn more um i am tasking myself with you know uh watching and you know implementing the video um once every every single day so i'll do one i would do one new lesson every single day and on top of that guys when you're reading the quran already you can plug in all the words that you learned and then it's like a process that you know you could just keep going on when you are already reading the quran or when you're already memorizing guys so i do plan on having a video um of that process soon inshallah hopefully it would benefit all of us and guys thank you so much for watching this is my productive ramadan routine at least for this year inshallah uh, i pray this ramadan becomes our best one yet and you know we're able to benefit and also have lasting change like i've put so much on my <laughs> plate this ramadan but if i could at least go out of ramadan with half of these things being consistent i think I'll be fine with that because that would be better than probably before. So, you know, inshallah, a few of the good deeds we do at least stay consistent. Um, I hope you guys liked this video and inshallah, I will speak to you soon. Assalamu alaikum. Tuesday, it's Ramadan. Welcome, oh month of mercy.